Hi guys, this is Junior from Let's Din It and uh, I purchased an item from Amazon.com. It's a 5.25 inch front panel for a desktop computer and the front panel have a USB and e-card reader and uh, it also have a eSATA um, slot. The reason why I purchased the front panel with those slots is because I my front panel the microphone and the speaker jack isn't working properly so I decided to purchase the front panel and uh, I'll show you how to install it but before we go into it the installation process let's unbox or open the package and see what's inside Let's open the package and see what's inside. I have my daughter Hiroshima. She is helping me open the package. Uh, we purchased it from Amazon. And it was well packaged. She's opening the box here. So this is in... Uh, plastic and uh, we're gonna take off the plastic now from it and s and just see what's inside all right we have the front B out It's a 5.25 inch. This is the front of the panel. And these are the connectors. As you see in the front of the panel, they have the USB connectors, have the microphone and the headphone jack. You have the USB. Let's take, uh, okay, you have the USB 3 and USB 2. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, slots there, so you also have the SD card readers, uh, micro SD and regular SD. We also have um, a slot for an uh, external hard drive, a SATA slot, and some other card readers. So, but you have the USB 3.0. And we have the eSATA slot there. That's like if you have an external hard drive, you can power it through this slot and also data transmission through that slot. So it's one cable for all two purpose. It feels good, it's a little compact. Uh, let's look at the connector, the USB 3.0 connector that was in there. Hmm, let's see here. Yes, yeah, this is a USB 3.0 connector, so you'll have to check your motherboard, see if it has that slot for the USB 3.0 on it. We already have, we, this here is some other co connectors. We have these two here are the AC connector and the HD audio connector, AC97 and the HD audio. Some motherboards will have the AC97 connector and the HD audio connector. Well, let's look at this connector here. This connector is the SATA connector. And all of the cables are connected into the panel there. Now let's take a look at the front again. It looks, it's it's an aluminum material that, uh, that is made with. Um, that's what's all in the box there. So we're gonna look at how to install this. Uh, also the screws, look at the screws there. The, 
both sides you'd need to get your own screw. It doesn't come with screw. So you'll need to get your own screws to install this in your desktop. Alright, so I'm going to put this in my computer slot, the 5.25 inch B. This is a 5.25 inch B at the top here. I'm going to put this front panel in there. I already pushed through the wire. Yes, the wire there. So I'm going to put this in here now. Try to see how well I can fit it. So it's in there. I powered off my computer. I plugged out the power, power cable at the back. I don't want to damage anything there, nor get any like like uh, an electric shock or so. So everything is powered off. Guys, please excuse the computer is a little dusty. I haven't got a chance to clean it. Uh, I work a lot. So, um, but is there the screw slots there? So ensure it line up with your B, your computer um, panel there, so that you can put your screws inside. So I have a screw. Here that I'm gonna just put two screws on this side. Here, just to clamp it down. I try to line it up properly there. So I'm gonna put these two screws there. Actually, I got these two screws from my old CD-ROM drive. Uh, I try to just be utilize whatever I have and make it work instead of going purchasing new screws. So I on I ha had an old drive, so I uh, took. I took out the screw from that um, the case that has the screw and I'm going to screw this in here now. Give it a nice uh, tight grip. So that's one in. And uh, I'm going to Put in another one there. Try to ensure it's not cross threaded. It also oh, screwed in properly there. This is just the first side. So I also have to do this for the other side. The turn the case, the computer over to the other side and put screws there also. Okay, guys, so. We've installed the front panel here. So you see the USB 2.0, USB 3, microphone, speaker. You have the card slot here. Now I want to show you the connectors that is connected with this front panel here. These are the connectors here. And, and let's go, go it over again. We have the USB 3.0 connector. You gotta plug this in your motherboard you have the SATA connector which is for the SATA port which is here is SATA this USB connector as I said before I didn't get to mention this is for the USB ports this here USB 2.0 is for these USB 2.0 ports and uh, we have another connector let me get it here we have this connector this is a M SATA connector. This is for like portable devices, like laptop, another more uh, portable device. We're not going to use this on this desktop. So let's 
I want to show you first of all we also have hold, hold for me I'm looking for the C97 and the HD audio connectors all right I find it here this is the HD 97 and the AC sorry the HD audio HD audio and the AC 97 connectors these connectors are, are were normally responsible for the microphone and the speaker jack there so you only have to plug in one of them depending on your motherboard uh, if the if your motherboard has an AC97 slot you plug it in if it has an HD audio you can plug it in the HD audio is a much more modernized connector both of them is responsible for the same thing the HD audio my motherboard has a connect uh, connection for that but not the AC97 so I'm going to ignore the AC97 plug this in now the HD audio if you notice let's look at it carefully there's a missing pin so I'm going to look carefully where the missing pin is and try to find the slot here so I'm going to plug this in right here This is Mark F audio here, meaning front audio, and unplug the HD audio there. As I said, this here is a USB 3.0. My motherboard has a USB 3.0 slot, which is very great. I'm using a B B450M gigabyte motherboard. I don't know if your motherboard supports this, and it has a USB connect. Uh, slot for the connector 3.0 sorry USB 3.0 slot this here you can look at the you see it have like a little groove here you gotta be very careful you don't want to damage it there's a groove here so you look carefully where where that is which is right here that this kind of hole here so I found that I'm gonna plug this in here now good and I have the USB do I have a USB yes I do you see here now it mark what F USB mean front USB let's see what you have there there's also a missing pin at the end I'm gonna look I'm gonna I'm gonna put this here the missing pin is here I'm gonna try to find the pattern and put it exactly gently and then I'm gonna apply a little pressure when I feel it's in a little pressure not too much yes I have this and finally this is the SATA connector so I'm gonna notice it have a, a lock here right so when you when you push this into a SATA port be very careful don't pull it out like like that there because you're gonna you can break you can break the connection and you can damage your board and also the connector you have to press here and then pull out if you're gonna pull it out so let's see this here is my SATA connector here I have a SATA slot here I have a SATA slot here I'm gonna put this here I believe they call it SATA or SATA I'm gonna call it SATA I'm gonna put this here please forgive me I have my own way of speaking at times so I have it here English is a very funny language I have it here um, so it's sticking so don't go when if you're disconnecting don't pull like this here remember there is a what a little switch here you just press it downwards and then you pull it what you pull it out you push them back there it clicks in so that's it guys so let's try inserting a micro SD card into the micro SD slot 
you gotta be careful right you have to find the socket for here because you don't want to there's a little space between the socket and the yes so I'm sure you place it gently inside good so now it pops up there the SIM card is the sorry the SD card uh, name W underscore 10 Pro underscore X 6 a drive so you have that here let's try taking this out and uh, let's try inserting the flash drive into a USB 3.0 slot so we're gonna insert a flash drive there so we have the flash drive also is being detected uh, that's fine so yes guys we've went through how to install the 5.25 inch fr uh, front B uh, card reader USB uh, panel into the desktop computer and I everything worked well there and we hope that you can do that also you don't have to carry your desktop computer to a professional if you read and you read carefully and you look at the how we install it you can also do that be confident in yourself and and you can successfully install your own 5.25 inch um, from the e-card reader really USB so that's all uh, for now guys and uh, we hope that you enjoy watching us and what we do here we do it for fun and voluntary and we hope that you enjoy it and you can do it for yourself so that's it guys Glad Ashima. Like this video, subscribe. Bye guys. Bye. Take care.